Well, the big story protecting our border. A new task force launched to keep deadly drugs and illegal items from crossing into Metro Detroit from Canada. To give you the scope of the problem, look what agents seized in just one week. And among these items, counterfeit airbags with a deadly defect, half a million dollars in fake Rolex watches, and enough fentanyl to potentially kill tens of thousands of people. And that's not all. 7 Action reporter Ali Hoxie is live at the border with what's being done to protect you, Ali. Well, this new task force comprises of several federal agencies, but also enlists the help of local agencies. The main goal is to try to find counterfeit items, especially counterfeit drugs. Fake watches, recalled airbags that could explode, fake shoes and fake phones were all seized at the Canadian-Michigan border. It was a part of Operation Alliance, a week-long enforcement effort during the week of February 24th. The primary focus of the operation was the examination of commercial shipments for counterfeit pharmaceuticals in the express carrier, U.S. foreign mail, Canadian post, and outbound rail environments. All of these items added up to a $1.1 million bust. One of the most concerning items found counterfeit Xanax laced with fentanyl. The amount of suspected fentanyl discovered during you know, this week alone had the potential to kill nearly 85,000 people. This effort was a part of the Global Trade Task Force created in mid-January. The bust was the first for the newly formed task force. Federal agents plan to keep watching the Canadian-Michigan border, described as one of the busiest ports in the United States. Whether you're talking about containerized traffic that's coming into or going uh, out of uh, here into Canada or uh, at the airport, um, we have four uh, uh, international crossings uh, within 75 miles of where we're sitting right now and it's a busy uh, tr commercial trade environment. Now I'm told no one has been charged at this point, but the source of those counterfeit items is still under investigation. Reporting live in Detroit, Ali Hoxie, 7 Action News.